In previous versions of Maya, it could be challenging for game artists to predictably meet their game asset budgets based on the vertex count in Maya, which is often used as a metric for game assets. So what you'll see here is the triangle set, or rather the vertex setting under the standard polycat heads up display uh, says that there are 20,000 in my scene. This is a couple of different meshes, but altogether this object is around 20,000 vertices or so Maya says. However, when we take this into a game engine like Unreal or Unity, we're, we're quite likely to get very different results. So we have created a game vertex count HUD that will give you a much more accurate representation of the vertex information. So what you can see here is that when I enable that, now my vertex count goes up to 41,000, a little over 41,000, from 20,000 to 41,000. So as you can see, the discrepancy can be quite dramatic. Now, in addition to that, we have also added evaluators for different game engines. So we have the default kind of simple evaluator, which is just general purpose. But if you're exporting to Unreal or Unity, we also have evaluators for both of these. And these will be slightly different based on a few settings, such as tangent mode, as well as some normal settings. Uh, this includes settings for MCT tangents for both. But if I apply this now, you can see that my Unity uh, game for text count is 34,000. If I switch this to Unreal and apply now, my game for text count is very similar, but it adjusted slightly. So just depending on various subtleties with your geometry and the target engine, you will get different results. But either way, this will give you a much more accurate representation of your vertex count in order to budget your game assets. To make it a little more clear about what's actually going on here, I've set up a very simple example. You can see I've got a simple surface that is that is basically made up of uh, three by three or, or essentially nine faces, which equates in Maya to uh, 16 vertices. So a vertice for, for every intersecting point you see here, which makes sense. However, depending on the geometry, this could change uh, with different situations. So for instance, if I were going to grab this edge and convert this into a hard edge, what you'll notice is it actually splits the vertex normal at each of those locations and essentially doubles the vertex count. So now you can see that even though Maya is still seeing this as 16 physical vertices, the game vertex count is actually 20. Uh, because it's taking into account those split vertices. Another example would be with UV editing. So you'll see here I have a single UV shell. So if I take this larger shell and I scale it down a little bit, and I'll move it off to the side, and then I take a single face within this, and I simply unitize that, which will basically separate that out into its own unique separate UV shell. As soon as I did that, what you can see is the vertex count went up again because of the UV borders. So the UV borders in conjunction with things like hard and soft edges can really have a big impact on the game vertex count that you should expect to see uh, coming out of Maya. And again, with the game vertex count display, you can now get a, a much better approximation or calculation of, of what your vertex count is going to be when you send it to a game engine.